collections, classics, customs, restorations. This is Crossroads Speed Shop. And welcome to episode four of the Crossroads Speed Shop Christmas Car Show. This week we've been taking a look back over the past year of custom builds and restorations. This year the shop has participated in over 30 diecast group builds, 22 redline restorations, built six special customs, took part in four special events, as well as two buddy builds. That's over 60 cars in all. What a fun year. Today we're going to take a look at some of the custom cars that we did over the past year. If you haven't seen the other days, take time to go back and check them out on the channel. And don't forget to cast your vote for the Viewer's Choice Award for each day by voting in the comments which was your favorite. Now, let's look at some of the cars. So, here's some of the custom cars that came out of the shop this year. Back in March, the Diecast International Builders had their painted green uh, invitational. And this is my 55th. Five Chevy Bel Air ga um, not gasser, <laughs> uh, 55 Chevy Bel Air. Uh, I painted it with Retroflame green. I added uh, Real Rider uh, Steelies for the wheels. I um, detailed the the chrome trim uh, as well as the the tail lights and the headlights. Uh, that was a really fun one. I really liked that car. I was really happy with how that one came out. Next we had was the, uh, back in September, the Diecast International Builders hosted their Dream Rod. Um, it was, you know, your favorite Dream Rod. And so I had this 32 uh, Ford Vicky that I did. I painted it with um, silver metallic uh, from Second Chance Red Lines. And then I painted over that with um, <clears throat> purple uh, Retro Flame. And I added the flame wheels and then the the uh, Sam at five spokes for that. That's really uh, a sweet ride. Speaking of sweet rides, uh, in August, the Diecast International Builders had their Build Your VW uh, build. And I took this VW casting. Uh, I painted it with Retro Flame Red. I added the red uh, wheels and white walls on it. I detailed the lights. And then I painted the roof rack with uh, Black Magic Vinyl from the Redline shop. And if I ever had a VW, that'd be what I'd want it to look like, is this one. And then in July, we had a uh, 4th of July a celebration, a patriotic build. Did this uh, Dodge Charger 500 and uh, with red, white, and blue. The uh, red stripes come from Second Chance Redlines. The, uh, the stars were things that I made with my, well, I had my wife make with her cricket, and we put those on the side and try to give it just kind of a patriotic theme. The wheels are five spokes from Sam Ed Wheels. Another holiday build is one you've probably seen real soon if you follow the channel, uh, and that's uh, this 49 Ford shoebox. Uh, it was a Diecast International build this December uh, holiday build, and uh, Oh Holy Night is the theme of this car. I uh, painted it uh, silver metallic, added the uh, Wicked Colors Red for the roof and then the, the, lower, the lower rocker panels. The, uh, the wheels are white wheels, tires with gold rims uh, from Sam Ed Wheels. I believe I got those from Andrew over at Maple Leaf Customs. That was a really fun build for holidays. And speaking of holiday builds, another um, Dibs holiday build was the... Uh, the Halloween build. Uh, the Halloween build uh, was way too fast. I painted it with Hugger Orange, added the uh, tribal flames to the uh, the roof, and put the um, orange trim ring wheels and also blacked out the exhaust pipes and around the front grill uh, just to kind of give it more of a, a darker look. Also in October, we did this... 55 Chevy Nomad wagon. I chopped the top and I added the top as part of a tonneau cover. I added the white wall wheels with the red trim rings <clears throat> from uh, Sam Ed wheels, as well as painting it. Uh, <clears throat> this is blood red uh, from Createx and added the uh, tribal flames on the side, blacked out the front grill and the, 
in the back bumper as well as the exhaust pipes on the side just to kind of give it more of a again another Halloween dark type look for the car as well just a couple more cars that we had over the uh, the summer back in July uh, the four horsemen hosted their rally car bill and so I have this uh, Evo, Mitsubishi Evo, that I used. I didn't have the, the Subaru WRX at the time. I added the, the big tail fin uh, on that, as well as the uh, Sam Ed wheels with the gold trim. Uh, that, was a, that was a fun build. I really enjoyed building that one. Another race car that I did was last month's was the old NASCAR theme that the uh, Four Horsemen hosted uh, using a Shelby Cobra. And uh, so I added the, the red wheels, I, I, and then I uh, painted it with um, opaque white from Createx. I added the um, decals, the 427 cubic inch, as well as the 59 on the side. Uh, I made those with my inkjet printer. And then the stripes come from Second Chance Red Lines as well. Another race car a little bit different was Diecast uh, Misfits. October build, which is build your best gasser. I took this 57 Chevy. It was an open exposed engine casting. Uh, I put a different engine in it from a Maisto casting. The front wheels are from green light. They're thinner, they, so they get that kind of that gasser type look. Really, is the front end of it. Uh, I painted it with Hugger Orange. Added the black stripes as well as the uh, the 57 Chevy livery on the side as well. Now, I'm pretty pleased with that one, too. One more road race car that we had was uh, this month's Diecast Misfits um, American Road Race Cars. and This is uh, Pontiac GTO. Uh, again, painted it white with um, Wicked Colors Red. Added those uh, old Sam Ed five-spoke wheels. And also did the uh, red on the side as well. And then I clear-coated it with... Uh, clear. 2K Clear from uh, Diecast Graveyard. So speaking of Diecast Graveyard, a couple more cards. One of, uh, for the Four Horsemen was this uh, 55 Bel Air Gasser that we were supposed to slam. Uh, so I painted that again with uh, Blood Red uh, from Createx and Silver Metallic for the roof. Uh, the engine I got was a, it was a 3D printed one I got from Andrew over at Maple Leaf Customs. I added the different uh, five-spoke wheels uh, from Sam Ed Wheels. I uh, really was pleased with this this car, too. This was another one that came out really, really well. And even the because of the color choices, the red windshield went really well with that one uh, as well. So I was happy with that one. And last but not least, this car probably has just seen recently, if you follow the channel, is my van. It's, it's actually not a car, but it's a custom van that I did is part of the super huge ginormous build uh, with Diecast Graveyard. It's my first one for that first build of those five that he's going to host this year. Um, and uh, it was your favorite band. And so I did the Beach Boys, uh, did a sunset fade on that, uh, added the uh, decals. They're actually surfboard decals from Second Chance Red Lines. They usually go on the surfboards, but I put it on the side. And then I printed up decals for the uh, Beach Boys. And uh, I clear coated it all with 2K clear from uh, Diecast Graveyard as well. Uh, I really like those five spokes on there. So those are all the cars that I have for today. Don't forget to to vote for your viewer's choice in the comments. Again, God bless and thanks for stopping by the shop.